Didn't Rumpus have a formula for that? <laughs> no, he didn't. There won't be one. There isn't one. It can't be done. I just thought I'd see if I can find it. It's great. I like the bullet points. It summarizes the, the validation for the Theo story. Earth spin and moon's orbit have similar orientations. <laughs> moon sample indicates that the moon surface was once molten. That'll be that bit of wood they've got. Uh, the moon is relatively small iron core, apparently. Determine that one. The moon has a lower density than the Earth. There is evidence in other star systems of similar collisions resulting in debris disks. I don't know. Giant collisions are consistent with the leading theories of the formation of the solar system, and the stable isotope ratios of lunar and terrestrial rock are identical, implying common origin. Um, scroll here, it appears to be. In 1898, George Darwin made the suggestion that the Earth and Moon were once a single body. Darwin's hypothesis was that the molten Moon had been spun from the Earth because of centrifugal forces. So it starts with this by the looks of it, and then, as always, he elaborates. We bring in Thea, um, prose by English geochemist Alex Halliday. A date? 2000. Oh, it can't be that recent. Really? Yeah. This I'll read it. The name of the hypothesized protoplanet is derived from the mythical Greek titan Thea, who gave birth to the moon and goddess Selene. This designation was proposed initially by the English geochemist Alex uh, N. Halliday in 2000 and has become accepted in the scientific community. Wow. I I, 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 even I'm amazed how recent that is. So back, so back to Greek accepted gods. Accepted in the scientific community. Yeah. So it contains a thing, not science. Well, it's an accepted story. It becomes part of also, the rhetoric. The scientific to... community is not very scientific if you're just going to just accept it yeah, without well, any uh, hypothesis testing or anything. Yes, well, part, accepted by the scientific community sounds a lot better than has become part of our religious rhetoric. <laughs> that does sound a lot more honest, though. No Were they even scientists then? Well, there's your scientific papers that they used to cite it. Terrestrial accretion rates on the origin of the moon. And number 13 was... Oh, this was what I was talking about. The big splat, or how our moon came to be. Damn scientific, doesn't it, man? <laughs> what is the IV? What is the IV? It's the just a splat. No, no, let's not try and even feign a hypothesis on their behalf. Look, this is their just-so story. Let's just lay it out like they lay it out. The fact that they've already declared it's been accepted by the scientific community, meaningless though that is, is still, you know, this is their story, right? This is how the moon came to be, according to them, because they made it up themselves. 